Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ programming on Linux. In this short video, it will discuss how to use Crypto++ library to perform AES encryption and decryption. In previous OpenSSL series video, we made one video that demonstrated how to use OpenSSL library to execute AES encryption and decryption. You can compare examples of both video and have your own opinion on what is the advantages, disadvantages between two libraries. As we described it in previous video, the Crypto++ library is a modern OOP designed C++ library and the OpenSSL is more like a classic C library. Here from Crypto++ website, it described that the library include AES and AES candidate algorithm. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. The Advanced Encryption Standard or AES is a NIST approved block cipher specified in FIPS 197. When using AES, one typically specifies a model of operation and the optionally padding scheme. AES provides confidentiality, only use most models of operation such as ECB and CBC. Here on our Linux environment, we create two examples, AES encrypt.cpp and AES decrypt.cpp. Typically, AES need to specify the model. The model such as ECB is an electronic code book. The CBC model is a cipher block chain model. CTR model is a counter model and use counter rather than random or unpredictable initialization vectors. The usage of this example, we read the data from plain text file using AES encryptor to encrypt the data and write into encrypted files. First, we design our key and the IV. In order to make this example simple, we just hard coding our key and our IV. Important is a 256-bit key, 32 byte and a 128-bit IV of 16 byte. So this is our most secured key and IV. We use Starline to calculate our key size. After validate command line syntax, first we have to instantialize AES encrypt object. We are going to use a CBC model. To instantialize our encrypt object, we need a key, key size, and IV. And this is our key, this is our IV, and this is our key size. So data come from the file, which is argument one. So we are going to start from file source, argument one, pass through AES CBC encryptor filter, and sync into argument two. So it's going to be we load data during the instantialization and then we pass through a encryptor and sync into our argument two. Then we finish our program. Before we finish our program, our encryptor object has some useful parameters or data it's better to know for coding your API. In this example, we just print this value out for your reference. First is algorithm name, which is from encryptor algorithm name method. Second is default key length.
The third is a key size, which we just calculate. Next one is a maximum key length. And the next one is a minimal key length. And the IV size. Maximum IV lens. And the minimal IV lens. So now we finish our program. We save our program. And we are going to go to next program. The next example is decrypt. So the input of command line will be encrypted file and the decrypt file. We use the same key, same IV, the same key lines. This example instantialize an AES decrypt object using five source from argument one, which is an encrypted file, pass through filter, which is the AES CPC decryptor, and the sync to argument two, which is the decrypt file. So first, we are going to instantialize AES encryptor. And we are going to use the same CBC model and the AES algorithm decryption. We name it decryptor. And the parameter will be the key, key size, and IV. And after that, we are going to do the similar things rgv1, which is an encrypted file, to reload the date during instantialization, pass through the filter, and the sync to the decryptor. New. And uh, as we said, decryptor has also some date and uh, parameters similar as the uh, encryptor. And uh, in this example, we are going to print them out for your reference. Because they are similar, so we are going to copy from previous example. We go to uh, program number one, which is uh, AES encryptor.cpp. And uh, we are going to copy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight line. We copy the 8 line into the bar for A. And we go to our second example, AES decrypt.cpp. And we just go to here, we paste here. And from the line 46 to line 53, and we are going to replace encryptor to decryptor. The command is 46 to 53 says encryptor to decrypt. So now we save our program. We compile our program. Now program got compiled. Here is our executable AES decrypt, AES encrypt. In order to test we create an original message called my plan text message .txt. This is the Hui test AES encryption decryption message 12345690. And we are going to encrypt it. So the original file is my plan text message .txt. And the encrypt file called my encrypt message .txt. You can see algorithm name is AES CBC. Default key length is 16 byte and our key length size is 32 byte. Maximum is 32 byte. Minimal key length is 16 byte. IV size 16 byte. 
Maximum I-ray length is 16 bytes, and the minimum I-ray length is 16 bytes. So this can be used for your reference. Our encrypt file is a binary file, which is not readable. And after that, we can decrypt our file. The input will be my encrypt message.txt output called my. So our decrypt, which is the AES CBC algorithm, default key length is 16, key size is 32, maximum key size is 32 byte, and the minimum key length is 16 byte. IV size is 16 byte, maximum IV length is 16, minimum IV length is 16. So let's uh, see how our decrypt file looks like. And our original file, you can see after we decrypt, encrypt the file back to same as our original files. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video, which it is useful and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback.